The next six weeks mini series is about documenting my experience with my first ultra marathon, all to help you with your next enjoy challenge. We'll be covering the mental challenge, volume, distance, heat, nutrition, 40 kilometer plus runs, tapering, and eventually race day. We'll see you a week ago. If you saw my latest marathon video, you know that I'm on a journey to use endurance events to control and eventually weaponize my depression. So I completed the Gold Coast Marathon in July, just about. I'm looking for my next challenge. And even though it's my next challenge, it's, it's not just about me. Uh, it's about you guys too. Reading the 300 plus comments from the marathon videos brought home for me how each and every one of us are, are on a journey, our own journey of, of mental and physical discovery. And the comments that I read just, they were incredible. I think it opened my mind and really solidified why I'm sharing my story, why I'm sharing my struggles, why I'm sharing why depression is such a big part of my life. So I, I can't thank you enough for the support. And yeah, this, this new journey I'm on, I feel like it's changing my life and that's partly due to you guys. So thank you. The Ultra Marathon, the pinnacle of human endurance, now becoming even more popular with everyday civilians. From 50 kilometer short runs to 100 mile plus hikes to the big 250 mile plus desert slogs. Ultramarathon running has become even more popular in recent years. My ultramarathon is a lot more low key. We're going to be taking on the Gold Coast 50, the GC 50, uh, on, on December 3rd, uh, 2023, this year. And it, it is a 50 kilometer run. Um, the distance, 50 kilometers, is not much more than a marathon. But the main challenge with the GC 50 is the heat and the humidity. Uh, December is, is high summer in Australia, and even with a 5 a.m. start, that heat, that oppressive humidity is going to be the big challenge. And I'm looking forward to having had cramps in the Gold Coast Marathon in July. I'm looking forward to really nailing down my hydration, my nutrition, my electrolytes, and really preparing properly for this ultra marathon to handle that heat and really take my running and uh, my endurance ability to the next level moving forward. So we are two weeks into an eight week training block, which may seem quite short, but between the end of the marathon in July and the start of this training block in September, I have been keeping up gentle 50 kilometer weeks. So I've kept things ticking over and recovered from injury. So I'm not out of shape by any means. So this eight week training block is condensed, but it's, it's certainly doable. And, and something that I think that I'm beginning to enjoy is, is short, sharp training blocks with long aerobic passages in between for events. And, and I intend at the moment to test how this works in my body. And I think at the moment, it's working great, so we're going to stick with this. And as normal, we've settled into our into our standard hybrid athlete training block. Our current running volume sits about 60, 65 kilometers a week or, or 40 or so miles. So the volume is not massive and intensity is not massive. But but as we move through the weeks up to peak week in, in three weeks time, we'll hit 100 kilometers a week. So you know, 60, 65, 70 miles. And that's when we really put a lot of intensity through the legs. And I'm making great progress in the gym heavy front squats, heavy bench work, moving around my body in different ways or plyometric well along weight resistance work has made huge differences to building muscle and running. And, and I feel like I want to continue this hybrid training split and evolve in this hybrid training, training split for this ultra marathon prep. Possibly the most important part of this training block is, is learning the key lessons from the marathon in July. The first one is integrating load bearing calf exercises and Achilles exercises into my strength session. So this includes weighted resistance work, so calf raises and, and the like exercises, but also repetitive calf and Achilles work. So gentle plyo work, repetitive plyo work, and just building up that capillary and muscular resistance and endurance in the lower calves and Achilles to handle the greater volume I'm going to put through my lower legs, moving through this, this prep as we go towards the ultra marathon in December. The second one, and the one I'm really looking forward to, is integrating cycling into my training block. And it'll be once a week to start with, it'll be a Sunday morning cycle. And this is about building in um, aerobic active recovery and making sure that I'm still turning my legs over, turning my body over, my oxygen systems over throughout the week, but not putting excess stress on joints after that Saturday long run. And it's something that I'd like to evolve moving forward as cycling becomes a more prominent part of my training block as we move into next year and start eyeing up uh, our first triathlon uh, when ready, uh, mid middle of 2024. And the third key lesson is expanding on nutrition and hydration. So this means nailing down the quality of my protein sources and improving my hydration 
pre, during and post workout. It's something that I think I suffered with in July for the marathon, but I really don't have nailed down in my training block as such at the moment. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that and improving the sources of electrolytes I take and the sources of carbohydrates I take to make sure I'm properly fueled for the week and for training sessions and to keep fatigue and the chance of injury at bay longer and longer as the volume rises through the training block. And as part of that work on, on improving nutrition and hydration, uh, I picked up some G1M Sport from BPN and some electrolytes. Uh, I think for me, I, I just need to be more focused on making sure those salad runs that are properly fueled. You'll see in the, in, in the run I've done this week that the 20K was a really strong run, but I'm out of fuel. I have to admit at the end, it's getting a little tough, I think. I severely ran out of energy. Most likely, lack of carbs, I think, from not eating enough beforehand or the night before. Single double scooping the G1M and getting some proper sodium intake uh, pre and during because I got the electrolyte satchels as well. It's hopefully going to make a big difference to maintaining form, maintaining pace and allowing my workouts and my workout paces to, to be more consistent. And I'm not using the last four or five K to just sustain pace. I'm kind of powering and improving through that run. So excited to test these out. Um, probably Saturday morning, first thing. Okay. So the training goal for this six week ultramarathon prep is, well, eight week prep, but six week window left in, in this prep is, is really building an aerobic base. It's, it's making sure that I'm building up denser capillaries in the legs. I'm getting much better at kind of passing oxygen through when needed. And I'm just building up granite legs, endurance in the legs, building up to a hundred kilometer plus weeks. And that's my main goal. The race goal is, is, is quite simple. It's just finishing. There's no real pace I'm looking to hit. I know 50 kilometers under five hours would be fantastic, but uh, you know, I have a, a, a race plan at the moment. It's just to go out nice and easy and build confidence into the run. And so anything under five hours would be great, but this training block and this race block is more about building aerobic ability and aerobic confidence moving forward. Um, I want a real strong foundation moving into 2024. And so I'm excited to use this block as a reasonably low key, but you know, high volume, medium intensity training, training schedule to kind of build that base for, for, for moving whatever challenges we have next year, which um, I'm excited to get into. So that's the one. Uh, embracing the abyss this is what this ultra marathon is is all about it's it's taking myself further it's, it's looking myself dead in the eye and the human's dead in the eye and pushing myself forward and yeah i'm excited for this for this ultra marathon i'm excited for this prep and and next week when i look at more of the more of the challenges i have to face and it's mainly heat hydration and and nutrition for the training block so see you on the next one